Do you pray because you genuinely love God and you constantly want to connect with Him? Or you pray because somehow you're scared that when you do not pray, God will take away His protection from you and bad things will begin to happen in your life? Today, I woke up around 4.30 a.m. And the minute I woke up, my mind began to travel. I began to think about so many things. I was already like in my thoughts, thinking about how the day would be, arranging my day. In my mind though, my mind don't go far. I was already thinking, making plans for the day. While I was still wondering in my thoughts, I remembered that I had not prayed. So immediately I began to mutter words of thanksgiving, Lord, I thank you for today. Thank you for your mercies, for protecting us throughout the night. All of those words of thanksgiving. While I was saying all of those words of thanksgiving, I was trying to sit up upright from my bed so I could position well and say my prayers. Then I heard something. I don't know what it is, honestly, but I heard it loud and clear. What is the reason for your worship? I looked around me. I know the dream now. I'm awake. I was fully awake. What's going on? What is the reason for my worship? So I began to think, what is truly the reason for my worship? Was I worshiping God? Do I pray to God because I genuinely want to connect with him? I just want to be in his presence all the time. Or do I pray because I feel like if I do not pray, things will not go well for me? Or is that it? Honestly, it took me a while before I could answer that question to myself. And when I did, I realized that in all honesty, I was actually praying most of the time because I am afraid. Because I'm scared that if I do not pray, bad things will happen. Things will not go well for me. I would not see goodness in this life. So I began to think. It was not making sense to me. Why that voice? I don't know where that voice came from. I don't know what it is. Honestly, it never happened to me before. So it made sense to me that, okay. So my worship is actually out of fear. While I was thinking about this thing, I remember the verse of the Bible that says that God loved me before I was even formed in my mother's womb. He knew my name. He knew this day was going to come. Before I even knew what is called prayers, he has always loved me. He has always been there for me from like the beginning of time. And there I was thinking that those shallow prayers is what is going to guarantee my protection from God. Hmm. That is like one of the biggest realizations I've had in recent time. And immediately I realized this, I began to ask God for forgiveness. Forgive me. How could I think that you're protecting me because of these shallow prayers? Because of these prayers that sometimes I forget to pray, sometimes I'm praying and I slip off, sometimes... Somehow, our minds have been conditioned to think that the days are always evil. The devil, of course, is out there like a roaring lion looking for whom to devour. If we do not pray and commit our ways to God, things will not go well for us, which is not a lie. It is the truth. The same Bible also says that he knows our problem before we ask him. He knows our needs, rather, before we ask him. But then it's so ridiculous to think that he is protecting us or he is providing for me and taking care of me because of those prayers I make. When he is the one that has said that before I was even formed in my mother's womb, he has already loved me, he has already known me, and he is always there for me. In fact, he gave up his only son to redeem me from the cause of death. It's so mind-blowing. Honestly, today, this morning, I took so much time asking God for forgiveness and just thanking Him. Because honestly, if you were to be according to my righteousness, 
God will not protect me. If we are to be according to any of our righteousness, God will not protect us. He will not bless us. He will not keep us. Because even the Bible says it that the righteousness of the righteous is like a fieldy rags before him. I had a lot of time to think that morning. I really thought about these things. And I realized that my worship to God shouldn't be out of duty that I have to do this thing so that this can happen. Or I have to say this thing so that this can happen. Or it should be because truly I love God and I honor Him and I just want to connect with Him and just glorify Him all the days of my life. I don't know who need to share in this realization, but I just felt the need to share this because honestly, it hits me. It hits me well. Like, it hits me, no be lie. I remember those days <laughs> when we were growing up. Sometimes when I greet my mom in the morning and she hadn't prayed, she would not answer me. Later on, she will now tell me that I cannot answer anybody's greeting when I have not greeted God. <laughs> you know, most of our worship is out of fear. No wonder we have more churches in Africa than we have hospitals and schools and, you know, recreational centers. Because right now, I believe that people go to places of worship because they are scared, because they are afraid. Honestly. It is out of selfish interest, not because they truly want to go and seek the face of God. I actually thought about a whole lot. We're naturally selfish. What is in it for me? What do I stand to gain? What do I stand to achieve? For us human beings, it's always a means to an end, a means to an end. When I say my prayers, God will protect me and bless me and do this for me and do this. It's like that. So I ask you, what is the reason behind your worship? That question shook me. I couldn't deny the fact that most of the times I prayed for selfish reasons. Most of the times I prayed because I was scared. Because I cannot afford to be on my own and think that God has taken away his love and protection from my life and I'll just be there. Be like a prey to the enemy. And I concluded that it wouldn't be that way anymore. My worship will flow to God. Whether I need anything or not. Whether I'm trusting him for anything or not. Because truly I want to genuinely connect to a God that has loved me before I was born. Before I came to this life. A God that loves me so much that he knows the number of the hair on my head. It's not going to be about give and take anymore. Because all my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. Every breath that I am able to. I will sing of your goodness, O oh God. All my life, he has been faithful, he has been good. All my life. So it's not about me anymore. It's not about what I stand to gain. It's about him, who he is. It's about his faithfulness, his love, his kindness, his grace that is always there, even when I do not deserve it. I will sing of your praises, O Lord. I will sing of your praises. I will sing of your praises. This is what I thought to share. I just felt the need to share this. Thank you for watching.